Good morning. Today I want to talk to you about a DTI. What the heck is a DTI? You may hear a lender tell you this um, term. We, when we say this, we're referring to your debt to income ratio. So um, we take your total gross monthly income before uh, taxes. If you make like a salary or something, it's pretty easy to calculate income. If you're self-employed, then your loan officer will calculate that, and that likely will be um, a little bit of a surprise for you what they come up with because they're going to subtract all of your expenses to determine the income they can use. But once your lender's figured out what your monthly income is, let's say you earn $3,000 a month. That's your gross monthly income. Now, most lenders and a lot of loan programs now will allow us to put up to 50% of your monthly income towards all of your debts. So your car payment, your credit card payments, student loans, um, any other monthly payments that you make. We're not looking at your water bill or your cell phone bill or any utility bills, though. So in this case, you can put up to $1,500. towards all of your monthly payments. Now let's say you have a hundred dollar a month car payment. So we'll have to subtract that from your fifteen hundred. Let's say um, you have a fifty dollar a month credit card payment. Now you're at one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars a month that you can put, I don't know if you can see that, towards your total housing payment. So your total housing payment is not just going to be made up of the payment you make towards the loan, though. That's also made up of property taxes and any mortgage insurance um, and homeowner's insurance. So, but this number, this 1350 is how we figure out how much house you can afford. So I hope that covers it on DTI. If you have any questions, always give me a call. Have a great day.